guys, welcome back to AT10. I'm Kill2. I'm here with the new and improved Michael Bolden, and we're about to see Get Off My Lawn fight against Wormhole Holders. Uh, Michael Bolden, if you can, tell us a little bit about the points the teams have decided to bring, and the ships, I guess, if you want. So, unless my math is wrong, Wormhole Holders has showed up with 50 points, a full 50 points, which means they cannot, under any circumstances, if they show up with 50 points, no matter what the other team brings, receive any bonus points. I think that shows a distinct misunderstanding of what they need to do to get through. Uh, Lawn has showed up with 49 points, a daring move in a team in a setup where you're almost guaranteed to have your other team handicap, and the very minimum they can handicap is 49 points. So, That's true. Uh, yeah, Wormhole Holders has brought two Tormentors, and Oniris, a Rook, a Vindicator, and Law Get Off My Lawn has brought two Daredevils, a Saber, two Rooks, and a Cyclone. So and we're now, about to start, so before we start, let me just say the Vindicator is pretty close to the beacon. Everything else is pretty far from the beacon. Two, the two Tormentors are right there with the Vindicator, but everything else, the entire lawn team and the uh, support for the Wormhole Holders team is all pretty far from the beacon. So we are underway now. Yeah, the Daredevil burning right at this group, trying to get webs to keep this Vindicator off the Rooks. If these Rooks can land jams on only a five-man team, then they're going to be uh, in a pretty good, pretty good sight, shape. Uh, Tormentors, by the way, for those who are not Norse, used to uh, seeing them on TQ, recently received a buff with the Merlin, and they serve sort of like a heavy tackle, like a Punisher, but with more damage and no resist bonus. So we have it's a not... Tormentor already taking damage. Oh, go ahead. It's not actually more damage. It's the same damage bonus, but it's actually one less turret, so it's less damage. But um, I, I can't figure out why you bring one. Basically, it has an extra mid over the Punisher, which is good for the tournament. But anyway, let's get back to let's get back to the action here. One of those Tormentors taking a bunch of damage. And I saw the, uh, the get off my lawn saber was charging at the uh, wormhole holders support the Oneros and Rook, but it looks like right now he hasn't managed to get anything accomplished over in that direction. The wormhole holders Rook is at about five percent shields. If it goes down, they're going to be in big trouble. Oh, but okay, it is armor tank, so. Uh, I'm trying to get a, get a look over there. We just lost Sorry. a uh, no. get off my lawn. Oh, we just lost a wormhole holders tormentor, uh, oh, no, so they are losing their tackle. No, we lost the cyclone. There goes the yeah. Oh. The tormentor did cut down, but the uh, the lawn cyclone went down. So that's bad. That's a big part of their DPS. The daredevils do a lot. They're like maybe the highest damage uh, tech one frigate, but um, that's still not a lot of damage, especially facing a vindicator and uh, with logistic support as well. So that's bad. <laughs> they're gonna this need... other tormentor is about to drop. Uh, they're gonna need a small. lot of jams. Why is the uh, well, I don't know, that's interesting. The Wormhole Holder's Rook, the one that's taking damage right now, I suppose the only Rook, is sitting there uh, right at zero with the Vindicator. Which I guess is really maybe very smart because then uh, the Lawn stuff that comes in to try and tackle the Rook uh, has to be right next to the Vindicator. So it's almost like the Rook is helping tackle for the Vindy even though he can't actually tackle. But that said, he died, so... <laughs> yep. What's important to note is that the Jams are just stronger from the lawn team with the two rooks. Uh, they're, if they jam those, one rook from the other team, and jam the Oniros, the entire capability of the uh, wormhole holders team, aside from the Vindicator, is completely destroyed. And with the web bonuses on the two Daredevils versus the web bonus on the Vindicator, they're able to keep the Vindicator relatively where they want it. This is crazy, actually. This match is pretty back and forth. Uh, I guess, I guess, get off my lawns in a pretty controlling position right now, but with that Cyclone down, I thought they'd have a lot more trouble, but the ECM is overwhelming at this point. With only two ships to jam, uh, there's really no way for Wormhole Holders to hold a lock at all, and that means that two Daredevil, Daredevils and a Saber, along with the Rooks, which do some damage as well, uh, is yeah. plenty to uh, burn down the rest of this team. So we might see uh, Get Off My Lawn get uh, everything destroyed by the end of time here. No problem, actually. Interesting to note, uh, a Rook actually does more DPS than you would think. It does about the same DPS as a Cerberus. So, uh, it's less range, obviously. Oh, actually, this Rook is taking a significant amount of armor wow, damage. I don't got, know. Vindy is running ECCM, so it's not out of the question for him to get locked Boom. here. Wow, that's and they actually problem. killed that Rook. That's actually, yeah, that's huge. If, if that means that the Oneros can lock consistently, as well as the, Vin as well as the Vindicator, we can see the Vindy recover armor. And uh, all he has to do is kill even one more ship, and it should be really Another difficult. Another Daredevil is taking structure damage as we speak. This could be an awesome comeback. <laughs> it if... could be. This is crazy. <laughs> I mean, Unfortunately, th the, the, the Wormhole Holders team brought 50 points. If they have brought 48, they would be in a great position. And that Daredevil drops. 
So wow. this rook, if this rook misses a jam on Unsown Heroes, and this Vindicator is able to climb back up some shields, they're going to be in an excellent position. I don't even think, even if they don't uh, hit a jam, and they rem this rook stays alive, Oh, and, a, and another to... Dale Drevel snap drop. That's yeah. incredible. You're seeing a huge advantage to the Vindicator right here. Any other battleship without a web bonus would not be able to even kill Frigs. I mean, if, if that was a Megathron, he wouldn't. He would need double webs on the ship, or he would have no chance of killing those support Frigs. And the Vindy just has no problem at all. Web, and a couple seconds later, he one shots him. So. That's that's pretty sweet. And now it's just a rook and a saber. We know the Vindicator doesn't have too much trouble locking uh, under the pressure from just one rook. And that no. Vindicator is moving on that rook. It's actually going to catch it, I think. The rook yeah. is the rook's only going 200 meters per second. I think he's yeah, webbed down. Moving. No, no, no. He, he, I mean, he wasn't webbed yet. He's just not Why? moving. What he, is he doing? Maybe maybe he's low on cap. Maybe he doesn't have a uh, micro warp. I mean. It's hard to say, wow. in the CM team, I mean, if you're get off my lawn and you expect to be able to jam the entire other team the whole time, you might just devote your whole ship to jams and not worry about speed. That, um, this is going to be an amazing turnaround. Uh, just goes to show you the risks you take when you emphasize ECM. If your dice rolls aren't good or the other team has enough ECCM, you're in big trouble. You just miss a few jams and everything can fall apart. So while wormhole holders will likely win this match, they still can only get through if they kill everything on the field with 62.5 points and, and they'll have a huge problem getting into the group stages because so many teams must get shut out tomorrow and then even still they're going to have a tough chance because of how many teams, how many losing teams from tomorrow will already have 62.5 points. Uh, where is the Sabre on field? Man, that, that, was, <laughs> oh, man. that was an awesome match. Sabre is a little ways away now, but... Uh, we saw you saw the rook stay up for a second. That's because the he probably did get a jam on the vindicator. But after one cycle, the vindy got another lock, and then down he went. You know, you you talk about uh, the jam the gamble you take when bringing ECM because of luck, but really luck. I mean, it plays a role. But I think here there was plenty of time in this match, especially after getting a ship or two off the field to begin with, for the ECM to take a hold. And credit really ought to go to uh, wormhole holders for bringing a good setup that could deal with ECM. I mean. Um, I suppose they could have gotten unlucky and things maybe could have gotten different in terms of jam cycles, but both their ships have ECCM. That's difficult to, uh, you know, keep jam for the entire match for those rooks, and then it's just a matter of what they do with the time that they do have locks. And they did the right thing, and, and now we're just going to have to see if they can catch the Saber, and uh, yep. there's certainly nothing the Saber can do against either of these ships at this point. So This really, Saber really probably, probably won't get caught by the ships, but I would like to point out uh, the secret Alliance Tournament robot, human robot that is in our ears at all times. Rivy has pointed out that another huge advantage of the Vindicator is the is its drone bay. The strength of its drone bay against these jams, able to still put out damage even when jams when jammed, is a very strong component of this super high damage, great web bonus Vindicator. I actually don't like most faction battleships in these six mans uh, because of how many points they take up, but. The Vindicator, I feel like, is the best choice if you're going to go with a faction battleship, just because of its pure damage and ability to put those massive web bonuses on its uh, enemy fleets that it can catch. Yeah, I mean, we uh, usually would criticize teams generally for using battleships a lot, but man, Vindicator's results have been so good so far in this tournament. We saw last week, like, three or four matches with Vindicators, and I feel like almost all of them were winners. I know uh, suddenly spaceships used a vindicator and did really well. That was a shield vindy that's better around the arena doing this, like. One second, this saber is going to get caught. This saber yeah. has its uh, mic warp drive off. It's not moving. It's yeah, about 400 meters per second to the 600 of the vindicator. Uh, yeah, I mean, I feel like yep, he's. And it's webbed. Oh, nope. <laughs> it no, just turned its mic warp drive on. It got away. He fooled he... me. He's making me look dumb. He's doing. I mean, he. There's no reason for him to ever be anywhere. He can obviously keep this. Wow, he just got volleyed. No, he's though. dead. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, I think he he had to choose to die. There's no way he should ever get caught there. But anyway, really, really good match. Congratulations, wormhole holders. Like you say, they probably won't get through, but still a really entertaining match and a solid victory for them. So good job, and we'll yep. be back uh, in about ten.